Welcome to 2K Sports, everyone. We have some exciting NBA action coming up. This is Brian Anderson. Joining me, analyst Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill and reporter Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Well, guys, LeBron James, arguably the most versatile player in league history. He said, quote, I don't have a position. I'm not a point guard, a shooting guard, a small forward, a power forward, or a center. I'm just a ball player. I do a little bit of everything and whatever it takes to win. That's my job description. This guy's one of one, Allie. Thank you. And the Lakers starting five. Davis out there with Troy Brown. Then there's LeBron James. Then it's Patrick Beverly. And it's Reeves in at the shooting guard position. And for San Antonio. At the two and the three, it's Vassell and Johnson. Then there's Jakob Pertl. And it's Jones in at the point guard position. And Richard the Spurs trying to rebuild without bottoming out. That's one of the hardest things to do in the NBA, I think. And they've got a lot of intriguing young players, but you need superstar talent to win in this league, and San Antonio is still in search of that. James, outside. Pass to Beverly. Johnson against James. The three. Out to Beverly. Over Jones. Beverly shot off. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. Here's Sohan. Rebound, the Lakers. And he lobs it up. And it's James with the jam. Oh, yeah. The old man can still do that. LeBron James with the catch and finish. To the left side wing. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. We've seen Jakob Pertl make huge strides with his defense since coming into the league, Richard. He's become one of the top rim protectors. Each season, his block numbers get better. Players think twice about driving the lane when he's out there. And that one falls for Pertl. And as solid as Pirtle is during the game, his free throws, Grant, can be an issue. B.A., it really limits his minutes during close games late. You know, he's right around 50% for his career. He has decent form, so there is some hope for improvement. No good on the second free throw. If you look at the history of the Lakers, they've always had elite big men. That tradition goes all the way back to George Mikan in the 40s. Then they had Will Chamberlain, Kareem, and then obviously we know what Shaq was able to do there. Here's Jones. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. To the left wing. Here's Sohan. Pass to Pirtle. Second chance shot. And the layup is up and in. How about the level of activity this dude just brings to the glass? Just refusing to give up on plays. And his teammates, trust me, they appreciate the effort. Here's Reeves. Outside, Brown. And there's another one for the Lakers. The Los Angeles Lakers, home to some of the greatest bigs of all time, Richard. Yeah, Wilt, Kareem, Shaq, Pau Gasol, the Lake Show winning titles with those large dudes, proving that size does matter in this league. Sohan, that one rolls around and rims out. Okay, it's taking them a moment to find their rhythm, opening the game with some uneven one-for-four shooting. Davis can't hit. For San Antonio, they've gone one of four to begin this one. Outside Johnson. And it's blocked by Davis. And this is how AD led the league in block shots. It's not just his wingspan, but it's his awareness, his basketball IQ when it comes to reading the game. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. And the Spurs call time here. And when you think of the time Johnson spent with the U.S. team, I mean, the coaches and players he was around, absolutely huge for this young player and his development. Pass to Sohan. 
Shot clock at five. Spurs need to get one up here. Here's Pirtle. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Johnson was part of that U.S. team that played in 2021. Spurs, yeah, what a great experience, Grant. Oh, B.A., I mean, I can speak in great detail how much you can gain playing for the U.S. team. Johnson continued to grow as a player after that summer and was a great addition to that team as well. James, outside. Now here's Beverly. Just five on the clock. It's Brown on the wing. No good on the three. San Antonio trailing here. Here's Johnson. He got a piece of it. James against Johnson. Pass to Davis. Wide open. He hits the back iron and sinks it. For a big man, Davis can really finesse it. San Antonio with the ball. To the right side. Outside Jones. Back to Johnson. The three is up. They grab their own miss. The shot by Pirtle, no good. Not his best efficiency this quarter. Eh, look, sometimes that's how it goes. That one goes. Count it. James has got his second basket on the night. Just zero hesitation from James. Trusting his shot. Pass to Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. And so it's the Lakers with it. Following the bucket by the Spurs. Davis. Off target with a fadeaway. And he felt like he needed a little bit more space with the fade to get off his shot. But that might have been what threw him off and made a miss. Here's Sohan. Defended by Brown. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And so it begins. A brand new season, Richard. What are some of your headlines? Uh, I think we're going to see less small ball. I think we're getting back to a little bit more of a physical game. We're going to see the reemergence of the dominant big man. Not just the big man, the dominant big man. And I expect that to continue. And that one misses. And we've seen the Spurs part ways with some of their best veterans. It really speaks to the talent at the top of the 2023 NBA draft. Savvy organizations like San Antonio will time their rebuilds to the years when the draft boasts some of those elite prospects. Good on the second one. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Pass to Davis. Here's Reeves. Second shot opportunity. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Hey, you can't block it. Sending him to the line can be the next best thing. And just one of the most impressive titles in league history, guys. The 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. A testament to LeBron James and that team. Can't get the first one. You know, that 2020 bubble title for the Lakers, what made it so difficult? You know, B.A., the mental grind of all that time in the bubble. Three months in the same place. NBA players are used to being in four cities in a week. So it really was a different kind of challenge for them. And he's good on the second. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. 
And coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense. Shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. Let's hear it for the Spurs. So it's San Antonio now. Trailing by five. Outside Jones. Vassell outside. Charity stripe shot. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. We're seeing some rapid improvement from Devin Vassell. His numbers are ticking up year over year, and that's across most categories. And for Vassell, that success has led to extra playing time. Well, that's what it is. He's seeing more minutes on the floor, but he's also risen to the opportunity and shown that if you play him more, you're going to get more from him. Two shots. He misses the free throw. And looking at the Lakers, Richard, trying to recapture their championship level from 2020. What do you think the key is? Well, when LeBron first got there, their team was way too young. Then last year, probably too many veterans. We'll see how they can kind of find a happy balance in between the two. And he can't make the second free throw either. He missed them both. And an absolute brutal showing from the line so far. James can't get it to go. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Johnson passes to Jones. Here's Sohan. Pass to Pirtle. Vassell right side. Three on the clock. Tries yet again, and it's good on the lay-in. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. The Lakers have gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. It's James on the wing. Pass to Reeves. The three ball. The shot's good on the assist by James. He has six. High IQ pass by LeBron. He reads the floor and gets it to the open shooter. Here's Sohan. Here's the three. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You train the triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. Schroeder, he's checked in for Beverly. On defense, the Spurs. It's a three-point game. Back to Schroeder. Fires from deep. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. San Antonio has gone one of two from three-point land so far. Pass to Vassell. Now Pirtle. The shot off that time. Davis with the defensive effort. Schroeder with it. Back to Davis. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. The Spurs making a switch here. Roby's checked in. Free throw, good from Davis. Here's all you need to know about how talented Anthony Davis was as a young player. He was invited to play for the U.S. national team when he was a college freshman. Here's Roby. Eight points in his last timeout. Brown passes to Schroeder.
Six on the shot clock. From 15 feet away, Pirtle grabs a miss. AD won gold with Team USA in London in 2012. Richard, he was the only college player on the team. With all of that pressure and intensity, it probably gave AD a great taste of what life was going to be like in the NBA. Now here's Johnson. He didn't look good in their loss to the Pelicans the other night. And it's blocked by Davis. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. And there's a whistle. That goes on Devin Vassell. That's foul number two for him. McDermott's checked in for San Antonio. Richardson comes in for Jones. Josh Richardson. Here's Schroeder. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got his third assist of the night. San Antonio's gone one or two from three-point land so far. Richardson, the pass to Pirtle. McDermott for three. Hauled in by Brown. Brown's got four rebounds now. Pass to Reeves. San Antonio with a rebound. Pirtle's got four rebounds now. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Los Angeles has gone two for four from range to start things off. Here's Reeves, covered by Johnson. Outside Schroeder. Tries again. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's on Jakob Pertl. Over the course of AD's career, he's made a concerted effort to draw foul, and we've seen that free throw attempt number skyrocket. At the line for two. No good on the free throw. And Spurs coach Greg Popovich last season moving into first all-time for coaching wins, Grant. That's right, B.A. I mean, all those wins coming with one organization, the Spurs. Now, when he hangs up his whistle, he'll be in the conversation for the greatest coach in NBA history. Bryant, he's checked in for the Lakers. Russell Westbrook comes in for Reeves, and he sinks the second. I'm not sure we've seen someone like A.D. before. Super long, skilled, athletic. He's just a unique talent. Back to Richardson. James against McDermott. Over James. San Antonio again missing. Credit the defensive effort there. Not giving him room to operate. Outside Schroeder. James against McDermott. James passes to Davis. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got three assists in the game. Who poked away? Pirtle in the post. Covered by Bryant. And he gets the bucket. Pirtle's got seven points. Exposing the defense and taking advantage in the paint. On offense, here are the Lakers. They're on a 16-7 run. Back to James. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. He has six. Here's Richardson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Hurdle against Bryant. The shot won't fall. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Here's Davis. Goes back up. Hurdle with some nice D. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Here's Roby. No luck on that one. Davis with the defensive effort. Los Angeles has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Outside Schroeder. The three. 
Rebound San Antonio. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. And Davis with the block. And that'll be San Antonio's ball as it goes out of bounds. Spurs able to keep the possession. Collins, he's checked in for San Antonio. Collins. Twenty seconds left in the first. The shot by Johnson, no good. And if they want to mount a comeback here, they need him to get going. It's just that simple. It's James on the wing. Four seconds left. With the second effort. And that's not going to go. And so it's Anthony Davis making things happen for Los Angeles. Dominating on the glass. What a quarter. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. You can't overstate how much interior defense can shape the game. They have a distinct advantage there, and they have turned it into a lead. We've got Doug McDermott. Zach Collins out there with Devin Vassell. And it's Jones in at the point guard position. That's who's in the game for the Spurs. Gets the three to fall. Vassell's got eight points. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. Back to Schroeder. Bryant outside. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Collins. Bryant, no good. Here's Sohan, defended by Brown. Pass to Sohan. McDermott with the ball. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Westbrook outside. Back to Schroeder, and there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. So it's San Antonio now. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Pass to Jones. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. Los Angeles has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. The cell against Westbrook. Four three. Drains the triple. Westbrook. Westbrook's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And it's big whenever Russ connects from deep. Needs to keep working on developing this shot. Pass to Collins. The cell outside. Boy, oh, clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. He's got 10. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Defended by McDermott. Now here's Westbrook. Unloads. It's not going to go for him. Well, the defense didn't have any impact on that shot, but somehow he still misses it. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Looking at Doug McDermott, it took some time for him to find his footing in the league, but now he looks very comfortable. Doug McDermott taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Well, the reason McDermott continues to get playing time 
is that he knows how to play to his strengths. Especially on offense. Capable of playing either forward position, but he's gravitated well to playing the four because of his ability to stretch the floor. Reeves is checked in for Los Angeles. Nunn comes in for Schroeder. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And here the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Pass to Reeves, and here's Bryant. And then Bryant with Bryant. the dunk. Woo. Defensively, Austin you can't Reeves. afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Here's McDermott. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago, Collins, the open look. Called in by Brown. Brown's got five rebounds in the game. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Westbrook finds Bryant. Outside none. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And we've heard LeBron James say he's obsessed with win or bust. And this Lakers franchise certainly has that same approach. But aside from their 2020 title, there's been a lot of frustration. Now, can he and the Lakers get back where they expect to be? down the first one. Grant, it's a shooter's league, and we're seeing more and more big men float out to the perimeter and knocking them down. Well, B.A., the game has evolved, and the shooting, particularly from the bigs, is fantastic. But, you know, I wish the bigs had a little bit more diversity. I don't mind shooting from the perimeter, but every once in a while, go mix it up and take advantage of your size mismatch in the paint. That one falls, so he hits both of them. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Here's Sohan. And misses it off the right side of the rim. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. None. The pass to Brown. Out to the wing. Here's Reeves. He's got six. And the call is going to be, yes, on a legal screen. That's his second, and I think they'll keep him in, but he's got to be careful. A third, and he'll sit for the rest of the half. For San Antonio, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Pass to Jones. Over none. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Jones has got his first basket. Okay, let's throw out the analytics for a moment. When he's taking the mid-range, it's a winning shot. Back to none. Five to shoot. Chang pulls it in. For San Antonio, they've gone four for seven in the second quarter. Here's McDermott. That shot off. For Los Angeles, they've gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. To the inside, Brown, Sohan with a rebound. San Antonio shooting a solid 50% throughout the second. Westbrook against Jones. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Los Angeles has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Here's none. Good on the short little jump shot. And the Lakers lead by 13. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Jones drives in. Let's a floater go. And the layup is good. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. Outside none. Back to Westbrook. Pass to Brown. Out left to the wing. Here's Reeves. Can't get it to fall. The Spurs have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. 
and Sohan gets it to go. Great recognition of the mismatch, abusing the smaller defender, poor guy. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, guys. The NBA last season celebrated its 75th anniversary and announced the 75 greatest players in NBA history, gathering the living greats during the All-Star break. A lot of history, but Commissioner Silver said, we're a pretty young league when you think about it. Brian, I guess it's all relative. Yeah, indeed. Thanks for that, Allie. Nunn against Jones. Ball stolen. Good anticipation defensively. See the pass coming and manage it to snatch it. Run it. With the drive. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Thomas Bryant. At the line for San Antonio, Trey Jones. Two shots. That's good from Jones. They've been flawless at the line this quarter. They need to stay aggressive and keep drawing fouls. That'll help them chip away at the lead. Beverly, he's checked in for none. Jones hits them both. RJ, you played with some of the greats. LeBron, Duncan, Dirk. Jason Kidd, just to name a few. But if the game were on the line, who would you want taking the last shot? Putting you on the spot here. I'm going to be really honest. I have been in great situations with all of those guys, and they have all delivered. So this isn't, but I'm going to go with the person that's delivered the biggest shot of my career, and that was Kyrie Irving. And he hit the clutchest shot in NBA history. Argue with me if you want. You're going to lose it. No argument here. Now here's Beverly. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Kicks it out to Westbrook. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Hey, Richard, how about Westbrook's basketball IQ? By far one of the smartest players in the game. How else would he have broken the triple-double record? He sees everything. His sense of the floor is elite. And that one falls for Westbrook. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. Now a timeout called by San Antonio. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And Coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense. Shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. The Spurs have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. To the middle. Here's Jang. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Thomas Bryant, fourth personal foul, third team foul. At the line for your Spurs, Corgi J, taking two shots. Take a break, take a break, two shots. First one falls. Some changes now for the Lakers. Davis comes in for Bryant. And LeBron subbed in for Brown. So after making the first, he goes one for two. The Lakers in the lead. Davis, the pass to James. Here's Beverly. Here's Reeves. Six points for him. Six to shoot. And 
he's going for the oop here. James against Richardson. Pass to Jones. On the wing, Richardson. Checked by James. Dang, shot is off. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Down low, Davis. And finished off by Davis. And that's a double-double for him now. What do you want? Agility, he's got it. Height, he's got it. Davis has every advantage on this play. Defenses just can't effectively counter him. And they'll get another chance. Right side, Johnson. LeBron with the rebound. James has got a rebound number five here tonight. Here's Reeves, covered by Johnson. 11 feet out. The shot by Reeves, no good. He's been off. Still, they're up, so not all is lost. Jones in the post. Pass to Pirtle. Outside Richardson. Here's Jang from deep. It's hauled in by Beverly. Poke loose. Oh, stolen by Richardson. Johnson with it. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. You cannot play worse offensively, although he's trying. And he hasn't made one shot Russell yet. Westbrook. I feel for him. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Johnson with it. He's picked up by Westbrook. And he gets that one. Johnson's got his first two points of the night. He is extremely comfortable and confident around that paint. We'll see a lot of points from Kelvin Johnson in that area. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And Lafou's coming out of the hardwood now. Get out of your seats, first fans. So it's both teams making substitutions here. First, squad. And show some love once again for your Spurs U dance team. Beverly with it. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Shot clock at six. And he buries that one. Back rim it in. San Antonio has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Pass to Bates Diop. Over to the wing. With the teardrop. Here's Pirtle. And counted. Now four for nine. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, yeah. You think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Now here's Walker. His last outing, he had 24 points. Covered by Johnson. And there's the foul. It's on Keldon Johnson. Keldon That's his first foul. First personal foul. 14 foul. And he lobs it up top. And Davis slams it home. This is the defensive intensity you have to have against Davis inside, but he still powers through it. It's stolen by Beverly. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. It's Walker on the wing. Misses the three. Forty-six seconds left in the first half. Got a piece of it. Five on the clock. Here's Pirtle. Rebound by the Lakers. Beverly outside.
Misses in close. There wasn't a lot of resistance there at that rim. He just, he just tricked off a little bunny. Pass to Richardson. Blocked! And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Beverly. Remain San Antonio ball. There's six seconds left to play in the second quarter. The shot by Johnson, no good. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in a good situation, up by 13 points to close the quarter. Defense is setting the tone. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He had 13 points, 11 rebounds, and five blocks. His great performance last game out seemed to carry right over into tonight. Shaq, what'd you think about the Lakers? They're playing with speed, pushing the ball off turnovers and long rebounds, running every chance they get. As we all know, scoring on the break is so much easier than finding open shots in the half court. And over to Kenny. What did you think about the Spurs? Whatever they're trying to do on offense, it ain't working. If they have any chance of coming back in this one, they're going to have to be more methodical in their approach. Talent without discipline will never result in sustained success. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. Spurs fans, no reason. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. But I don't think that that's the most important thing to him. Sure, putting up big numbers doesn't hurt, but he's all about getting the win over everything else. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And so in the game for the Lakers, we've got Davis, Troy Brown out there with LeBron James. Then it's Patrick Beverly, and it's Reeves in at the two. In case you haven't been watching his entire career, it is tough to contain Davis when he is on a roll. He's got a physicality and an expansive all-around skill set. Now here's Johnson. Here's Sohan. Takes the 12-footer and hits it. He's got five. The Lakers shooting an average of 43% for the floor. And he's going for the lob. And finished off by Davis. And it's just so beautiful. The timing of that play is exceptional. Davis just gets there right on time and puts it in. Here's Jones. Pass to Johnson. Tries the nine-footer, and the basket is good. Johnson's got his second basket. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Back to James. Over Johnson. And there's another one for the Lakers. Something lit a fire under them at the half. They started this quarter going three for three from the floor. Pass to Vassell. Out to the right wing. Johnson finds Vassell. Here's Sohan. Back to Vassell. Clock at six. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. First Man, but the defender really went after him. At the line for your Spurs, Devin Vassell. At the line for two.
No good on that one. And the second free throw is good. The Lakers have gone three of three in the second half. Beverly outside. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Puts up a three. Sends it home from three-point land. Hey, Beverly's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Jones against Beverly. Knocked away. Pass to Sohan. Again with the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. Oh my, oh my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. And here's Beverly. Boy, left it right in the sweet spot with the lob. Nicely done. And the Lakers lead by 19. Smooth finish off a terrific feed. Man, the timing and execution couldn't have been any better right there. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. You got to like what Anthony Davis has done in this game. He's been on an absolute tear inside. they got to figure out a way to keep him out of the lane. I don't know. Vassell outside. Over to the left wing. James against Johnson. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Pass to Reeves. Inside, Beverly banked it in off the glass. Beverly. Beverly's got five now. Credit them for making the right halftime adjustments. Oh, yeah, I can't agree more. They haven't missed. The Spurs have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. LeBron is second all-time on the NBA career scoring list. It's just him and Kareem at the top. As long as he stays healthy, the King will set that record. Here's Vassell. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. Beverly for three. Rebound San Antonio. Hurdle's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Well, with all of LeBron's accomplishments, Richard, how would you rank breaking the scoring record? For me, it's up there with anything LeBron James has done. This record, I don't think anyone's going to break it. Now, here is James. Give him eight points now. Here's Davis. They get it back. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Lakers. for the Lakers. Patrick Beverly. One shot. One shot. Beverly, no good on the free throw. Boy, viewership numbers are on the rise. NBA business is booming. I guess it's a good time to own a piece, eh, Grant? Hey, B.A., you said it best. The league is in great shape. We have great leadership, That's talent. Great. It's an exciting time, and I think the league has more growth globally in the years to come. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. You gotta blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Now, here is James. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. To the wing, right side. The shot by Reeves, no good. 
The Spurs have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Outside Jones. To the paint. Here's Pirtle. And Davis with the block. And they're pushing it up. Spurs foul. Sohan. Third personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Lakers. Troy Brown Jr. At the line for Take two. Break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Brown. And both free throws good for Brown. A challenging stretch here for San Antonio. Pass to Sohan. On the wing, Vassell. Now here's Pirtle. The jump hook. And that's off the glass and in. Pirtle's got 11 points. Los Angeles has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Beverly outside. Now Davis, covered by Pirtle. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. What separates AD from most big men is he's just got every tool at his disposal, and he knows exactly when to use them. Shoot two. Taking two shots. First one falls for him. It's both from the stripe. The Spurs have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Tipped away. Here's Sohan. Five points in the game. Outside Jones. Pass to Johnson. Shot clock at six. The Lakers with a rebound. Brown's got a six rebound on the night. They're losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. James, outside. This one for three. They get the rebound. Davis. He gets Anthony it to go Davis. again. Nine for 13 so far. It's so hard trying to keep Davis off the glass. He's just so big, so strong, and has the athleticism. Here's Pirtle. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Now Davis. Give him 23. Off Counted from distance. On offense, Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide open man. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Jones drives in. Shoots over Beverly. And Davis with the block. Here's James. And LeBron slam James. dunk by James. From well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. And guess what? Mission accomplished. Oh, yeah, they're doing a terrific job not giving this hostile crowd anything to cheer about. And the three-pointer goes. Give him eight. Slow defensive rotation causing a breakdown along the perimeter. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. Schroeder, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Pass to Reeves. Here's Sohan. Give him eight points now. 
And Reeves pulls it down. Schroeder passes to James. Back to Schroeder. Right wing. Here's Reeves, defended by Jones. For San Antonio, they've gotten five of 12 shots to drop in the third. Here's Vassell. Oh, and he got Lakers fouled on his foul. way up. He'll head to the line Austin to shoot two. Reeves. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for San Antonio, Devin Vassell. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. So both teams making some changes here. And so he makes both from the line. Los Angeles has got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. Pass to Reeves. Back to Schroeder. Here's Reeves, guarded by Richardson. Here's Bryant. And it's blocked by Collins. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. And the Spurs making a change here. Bryant, the pass to Davis. Down to five on the shot clock. Takes a 13-footer. The shot by Reeves, no good. San Antonio has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Outside Richardson. Here's Johnson. The shot misses. And Los Angeles the other way now. Now here's Schroeder. He's got five. Pass to Reeves from behind the arc. Sohan with a rebound. And for San Antonio, they're shooting a disappointing 38%. Back to Richardson. There's the three. Doesn't go that time. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Left side, Schroeder. Here's Davis. That one falls. Anthony Coming off Schroeder's feed. Davis has got 12 now in this quarter. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Richardson against Schroeder. Here's Pirtle. Excellent D there from Brian. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But oh, you don't really? have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. San Antonio's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Here's Sohan. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. Third team foul. At the line for San Antonio, Sohan taking two shots. And he makes a first. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. LeBron, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Westbrook comes in for Reeves. He 
He's perfect from the line this time. Los Angeles has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Richardson against Westbrook. San Antonio foul. Bronx. The Spurs making a switch First here. Personal foul. Fourth team foul. Substitution for your Spurs. Zach Collins. Isaiah Roby. A minute 39 left in the third quarter. Schroeder finds James. Just five to shoot. Pass to Davis. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. Davis has got 14 points here in the second half. Well, the Spurs shooting poorly. Just 29% from the floor in this game. Collins with it. Covered by Bryant. Here's Richardson. And they pick up two. Richardson Richardson's got his first points of the game. That's just smart basketball right there. Finding a way to get a high percentage shot on offense. Schroeder passes to James. 51 seconds left in the third quarter. Hits a three-pointer. And that's the improvement of his game. You've got to guard Braun close at the perimeter. He can be so efficient from out there. Here's Roby. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. McDermott left side over James. Oh, nice shot by McDermott. Maybe not the highest percentage of looks right there, but look, you can't argue with results, I guess. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Westbrook. That one falls. Coming Russell off Schroeder's feed. Westbrook's got 10. I don't think I need to tell anybody Westbrook is a gunner. If the D isn't right up on him, when he gets the ball, he's taking that shot for sure. Outside Johnson. Takes it inside. And the layup is good off the glass. Johnson's got his third basket on the night right there. Impressive move by Johnson. He's got that explosive first step. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. Lakers ahead, running away with this one. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Doug McDermott out there with Isaiah Roby. Then there's Josh Richardson. Then there's Devin Vassell. And it's Collins in at the five down low. That's the San Antonio five. San Antonio shooting just around 32% from the field. McDermott can't get it to go. And the Lakers with possession here. He's guarded by Vassell. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Man, there are a lot of insane records in the NBA history books. Which do you think are the most unbreakable, RJ? Well, I've got four off the top of my head. The 100 points by Wilt. I think LeBron James' playoff scoring record because a player is going to have to go to like 13 finals and they're going to have to average 25 points a game in order to pass that. And then A.C. Green, he's got almost 1,200 consecutive games played. That's 15 straight seasons. And I'd throw Stockton's assist record in there as well. Yeah, no one's catching that because he didn't miss many games either. First free throw is good. on both what you can't help but notice this half is how lights out they've been from the free throw line Richardson with it to the wing on the left 
Roby inside. Brown's there. Got it. Good job in the Damn low post. Roby. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. Schroeder. That shot is off. Good D by Richardson. Schroeder's gone two of five tonight. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on Schroeder. Look, no matter where Josh Richardson goes, his shooting ability follows. Lots of destinations in his young career, but it hasn't seemed to phase him. That's called being a professional. And he drops the first. And you know Josh Richardson, he really knows how to score, Richard. Oh, that's definitely a role player you'd love to have. He shoots the three ball, plays tough inside. He can even facilitate a little bit. He's got tons of playing time under his belt. He's off on the second. And the NBA always tinkering with the rule book, Richard. Any rules you'd like to see change? The uh, the Richard Jefferson effect? No, well, I, a lot of people ask me about the four-point shot, and I just tell them, do you see where Steph and Clay and Damian Lillard are shooting from now? Where are you going to put a four-point shot? All we're going to do is reward those guys for a skill that they already have. And I think sometimes you also have to look at the impact that it will have on the game of basketball. If you just have kids trying to shoot these shots or trying to see where they can come from, then you have no idea what it will do to their skill impact. So I don't think that that would be a good thing for the game of basketball. Here's Roby. The kick out to Richardson. Second chance effort, and it's Josh in after a nice bounce off the right iron. From Zach Collins. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Beverly outside. Back to Schroeder. Bryant outside. Back to Schroeder. Let's go with a three. Vassell with the rebound. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Excellent D there from Bryant. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. Vassell can't get it to go. The Lakers have got nothing to fall in this fourth quarter. 0 of 5. Shots good by Dennis Schroeder. Schroeder. The Spurs have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Pass to Roby. Well, Grant, in the pace and space era of the NBA, it seems like the rate of free throws league-wide has declined dramatically. Yeah, I love that, B.A. It keeps the game going. There's a flow to the game, and we like it as broadcasters, and you know the fans love it as well. So I hope the league will continue on this trend. Defended by McDermott. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Vassell off target with the three. More than a few bad breaks for him this quarter. He's struggling, and the team is following suit on the scoreboard. Beverly, the pass to Bryant. From close range. Oh, and there's San the whistle Antonio. on the shot. So two free throws for him Isaiah coming up. Roby. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles. Thomas Bryant. Oh, two take shots. A break. Take a break. Two shots. He makes a first. When they get chances at the line, they make you pay. I mean, their free throws have helped maintain this lead. And 
And both free throws good for Bryant. And the 75 list came out last season, the top 75 players in NBA history. RJ, who do you think was the biggest snub? Without a doubt, the biggest snub was Dwight Howard. When you see what Dwight Howard was and was able to do, and I understand if you want to look at the last five, six years of his career, but don't gloss over the first 10. He led a team to the NBA Finals battling against the Lakers as the best player on the team. Dominated the Eastern Conference. Beat LeBron James. And we've seen how hard that is to do in the Eastern Conference. So, to me, he is one of the top 75 players of all time. Here's Schroeder. Goes up again. And that one's good. Bryant. Bryant. Bryant's got four points this quarter. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Pass to Sohan. On the wing, Richardson. The shot comes out. Oh, nice D from Schroeder. To the middle. Oh, they pick off the pass. Vassell with it. Now guarded by Beverly. Vassell against Beverly. McDermott with the ball. Into the lane. And a foul Los called Angeles on the way up. Five. So he'll take two Thomas from the free throw line. Fifth personal foul. It's going to be on Thomas Bryant. Second team foul. At the line for San Antonio, Doug McDermott. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Well, Grant, we're seeing players extend their careers. Often, diet plays a big role. How important was that in your day, and how important do you think that is now? It's so important. The food you put into your body, the rest, the recovery, uh, all of that plays a role in extending your career and having great longevity along the way. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Pass to Gabriel. The shot that time not on target. San Antonio has gone 1 of 2 from deep in this quarter. Walker covering. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. We've seen more than a few miscues from them tonight. And if they want to come back in this game, look, they got to clean up those mistakes. Now Los Angeles with it. Covered by Johnson. Pass to Bryant. Outside none. Just five on the clock. Takes the three. The Lakers with the rebound. Hard work on the glass gives them back the ball, and they get to milk a little clock here. Here's Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. I'm just going to say this. Johnson has some bounce. When this man gets off the ground, he gets off the ground with ease. Pass to Walker. Back to none. And this preseason, the Warriors and the Wizards faced off in Japan. Nice to have the NBA continue that international outreach. And it was something that was put on hold during the pandemic. It's nice to have things getting back to normal because the NBA, all they want to do is continue growing the game. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. LeBron Jr. LeBron James. Austin Reeves. Russell Westbrook. Bryant's gone two of five from the floor. Jones, the pass to Pirtle. And here's Johnson. Outside Jones. Pass to Sohan. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by LeBron. James has got a six rebound on the night. It's Brown on the wing, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Fourth personal foul, third team foul. 
shooting for Los Angeles. Troy Brown Jr. taking two shots. Shooting two. Free throw good, Brown. Shooting just about 90% from the charity stripe now. Not wasting freebies here in the second half. And the Lakers making a change here. Davis has checked in. And both free throws good for Brown. You know, RJ, we've seen it for years. The final minute of a game can take up to 20 minutes of real time, or sometimes longer. You think that's something the league needs to look at? Well, the league wants to look at that, but you also have to make sure that you keep the integrity of the game. If there is strategy that you can use, LeBron whether it's James. taking a foul or Assist calling a timeout, to you try and use it. So the league has to make sure that they find that delicate balance of flow, but also allowing people to use the rules. And San Antonio has possession. Now to the Lakers, picking up a basket just moments ago. And he's been much more assertive here in the second half, getting to his spots, executing with ease. Now, here is James. And there's the lob. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Here's Sohan. Oh, <laughs> throw it down. Wow. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Unselfish to the core. Johnson looking to make plays for others. Here's Westbrook. Back to James. Uncovered. That's good. LeBron and so James. Westbrook with the assist. James has got four points now in the quarter. San Antonio has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Out to the wing. Here's Sohan. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. Westbrook outside. Here's Reeves. Off target from outside. That's a look he couldn't pass up. He just couldn't get it to go. Here's Sohan, defended by Brown. And as recovery and injury prevention goes high-tech, Richard, many players are starting to wear the trackers to measure the wear and tear. Well, look, wear and tear, at the end of the day, players have more things to their access. Doesn't matter if you're talking about medical equipment, treatment, uh, doctors, trainers. So there's going to be wear and tear because that's professional sports, but more stuff today are, have been instituted to help the players recover faster. San and hopefully Antonio prolong their careers. If they're good Calvin enough. Johnson. He's not afraid of getting physical. Second I like how LeBron foul. James has no problem Fourth accepting the contact foul. while trying to score. Shooting for Los Angeles. LeBron James at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw no good. LeBron James going to the free throw line. Let's just say it's not his most accurate of positions, but hey, even players like him got to have things that need to work on. He hits the second from the line. Now Jones. Vassell outside. Out to the right wing. Here's Johnson. Can't get it to drop. Good work defensively by James. Westbrook against Jones. Now here's Westbrook. The D's right on him. Over Jones. Westbrook can't hit. Probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Back to Jones. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But, Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? 
Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting, kind of being engaged but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. Vassell passes to Jones. Five to shoot. Here's Johnson. He can't hit that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Lakers. I think it was their play in the paint that got them the win tonight. And the defense seemed powerless to stop them down low, resulting in plenty of high percentage shots for them. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. But they've got two more chances to get some revenge. The matchup doesn't favor them, but against a conference opponent, they're going to battle hard. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Anthony Davis. And he was doing everything out there on the floor tonight. Triple-double on the stat sheet, and that That's doesn't great. even the tell the whole story. Violation. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. You got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Now, here is James. Back to Westbrook. Falls. Nice feed that time from James. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Hurdle finds Johnson. To stop the drought. Doesn't go for him. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this That's one. This game. one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. AD, a big night for you offensively. It seemed like you were willing this team to victory. Did you feel that way? Yeah, um, this whole day, you know, I was talking to myself just saying, be dominant. You know, this is a time where you be dominant, take over games. Um, and that's what I was trying to do all tonight. Just trying to go out with my opponent, you know, and make the best shots for myself and for my teammates. And we were able to make some big shots, make some big plays. But, you know, we got another one tomorrow, and we got to be dominant as well. You know, and, and it starts with me. Coach and LeBron have said, since day one, this offense has to go through you. Thanks, AD.